Hi, my name is Raul from the Euron LLC and VLX plugins. And I just wanted to show what Highline Share looks like when you first install it. Um, you see that it comes as Twitter and Facebook on by default. And it kind of has a, a bold appearance with the brand's respective colors. Um, you have some tool tips on Hover to uh, kind of reemphasize what you're sharing. And if you're fine with just Twitter and Facebook and are happy with the appearance, then there's no need to dig into the settings. But Highlight and Share is more than just Twitter and Facebook, so you'll probably want to add some additional social networks. As you add your social networks, you'll notice the front end could get a little bit bulky. Um, that's a lot of real estate for this uh, on the screen. So let's show you how to change the appearance of how these buttons look on the front end. Let's move on to the Appearance tab in the Highlight and Share settings. So in the Appearance tab, the first item you're presented with is the ability to reorder the social networks. And all the networks are shown at this time in order to save some reordering in the future should you add or subtract networks in the future. And to reorder, simply grab the network icon and drag it to the right or the left. And let's go ahead and make Reddit first. We'll do WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, emails, and finally copy. So we'll save that order and view how it looks on the front end. So there we go. And then if we ever have to just reset the order back to where it was, just click on reset order, go back and refresh, and everything is back the way it was. Back in the appearance tab, let's go over the same preview, which is at the very, very bottom. The scene preview allows you to see and interact with the live preview of how things will look and behave with highlight and share. This is going to save you time from having to jump back and forth between the front end and the admin in order to see how things look. So let's go up a bit and start going over the theme selection and customizer. Let's go over all of the available scenes for highlight and share. You can see all of the available scenes by clicking on the drop down. Uh, several are icon only themes, and I'll show you what each one looks like. Uh, for now, let's just click on brand colors. And you can see the live preview below updated. So let's go over what each one of these themes will look like. Here are all the available scenes for highlight and share. First, we have the default theme, which is what we've shown previously. Our brand color theme, which is an icons only theme. And the rest of these are icons only. You have colorful circles, which is brand colors in circular form. You have glass circles, which are kind of a glass transformation of the icons. And you have a black theme, purple, white, cyan, magenta, blue, and finally, uh, green. Before we dive into custom themes, I want to show you the tooltip options. You can enable or disable the tooltips. And you can even change the background and text color. So for example, if I want the tooltips to be purple to match a purple theme, I can do that. And finally, I'd like to show you the orientation. You can change between having the icons horizontal or vertical. So for example, instead of showing above the selected text, you can show to the left or right of it. For example, like this. So let's go ahead and select a custom theme. And I'm going to show you all that you can configure. Um, for example, you can hide or show the labels. Right now, the labels are not being shown. So I'm going to go ahead and click on show the labels so you see what that entails. And I can also group the icons together, which means I can change the background color and the icon color all at the same time for each one of the buttons. So I show you that real quick. I just change the uh, background color to purple. And then you can also change the hover color. So let's grab the same purple, but just make it a little bit darker. And then you can also change the icon color from white uh, to whatever you prefer. Let's go ahead and change the toolbar uh, tooltips color. 
to be the same color. And then we can adjust the border radius of uh, this area. So for example, if we want to add, let's say a 25 pixel border radius, just to give it a little more rounded up look. And then you can adjust the padding within the icons itself. So this is, um, excuse me, uh, the top padding for the icon. And then you can adjust the bottom size and then we can make it a little larger as far as how the icons look. So let's move on to what we do when the icons are not grouped together. I've reset my appearance settings just to show you the custom icon experience when you do not group the icons together. So right now I just have the standard appearance and I wanna go ahead and ungroup the icons. And so what that does is it basically makes each one of these icons individually editable. So for example, if I wanted to change Twitter to purple and then give it the same purple, just a little bit darker of color. Uh, I can do that here for this individual icon. So you have all your icons available and each one of them have the same color options. So uh, you can go a bit crazy with the colors as far as changing them up. Um, I've included all the colors for the standard networks and the seams below. Um, like I can make what's that red, for example, even though we Red, it's more of a red social network. So for example, that one. And let me also show you what you could do when the icons aren't grouped together. You can give each one of them kind of a circular appearance. So for example, if I want to make them all circular, I can give them a 50% border radius. It's probably better to do 100%. That way they're more circular. Um, then I can start giving them equal padding. So for example, I want all of them to be 15 padding. I could do that. You can change the icon size to make them a little bolder. Then you can also add some space in between each one of the icons like that. And then lastly, you can change the tooltips like regular and then you could do horizontal or vertical orientation. So, as far as seeming highlight and share, uh, you can go pretty finite uh, down to the end of the individual icon. You make it rounded or squared. You can give some space, vertical or horizontal orientation. So you can make this plugin look exactly the way you want it to.